Hi everyone, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Today I want to show you the 31st report of this year in our weekly COT review. Let's get started and have a look at the changes in commercial positions. There we go. And right off we can see we had a 44% change in commercial positions for Dow Jones. As you can see in the one year chart, uh, such changes happened actually roughly five times in this year. Uh, so it's although it's a 44% change, one might think it's a huge change that happens from time to time in this market. Let's just have a look at the five-year chart just to see how uh, extreme the picture is. Uh, not not that really extreme situation. Uh, so we're just going to move on and have a look at Cocoa, where we had a 28% change. And yes, similarly to the previous market, we can uh, conclude that such changes ha happen from time to time. It could definitely be considered a large change. Um, let's have a look at the five-year chart. There we go. We're not in an extreme, uh, very extreme place. Uh, but the change size could suggest a short-term price decline in the market. Okay, let's move on, have a look at the Canadian dollar. We had a 20% change there. Large speculators above zero line there net long. Let's just have a look at the five-year chart. Okay, so we can conclude that uh, we are not at an extreme situation, but this uh, ch change size of 20% could actually uh, push uh, prices a bit lower. Okay, let's just have a look at the COT extreme for large speculators. Okay, we've got an all-time signal in two-year note. Let's open that market. There we go. And let's have a look at the five-year chart just to see what this uh, all-time signal looks like on this chart. Uh, we've looked at this market a few times in the past uh, couple of weeks and concluded that we are in an extreme situation. Well, it just became even more extreme. So the stress level in the market's definitely just building up, building up, uh, which in my view could uh, result in, a, in a, a price decline in the near term. And you've got some really good uh, stop levels not far, so a good risk reward trade if you think about it. Uh, let's have a look at cotton where we had a 177 report extreme. There we go. Let's open the five year chart. So large speculator is roughly around here and we have that 177 report extreme. Uh, looking at the chart, well, small speculators are neutral. They're roughly just a bit above a zero line net long. So it's really the commercials and large speculators battling over here. Interesting to see uh, commercials net long in the past five years. Uh, they were mainly a net short level. So definitely uh, could suggest a near term uh, a price movement upwards. Um, let's have a look at small speculator COT extreme. Okay, we have an 88 uh, report extreme in euro dollars, but that's not a big one. So uh, I think we're just going to move on to the wheat, where we actually had a 435 report extreme in uh, commercials. So it's a bit more interesting, and we were talking about this market last week as well. So let's have a look at uh, the market, what happened there. Uh, so we were here uh, last week, um, quite extreme uh, place. And uh, we're thinking whether this is the top in the market. Well, we're still there and uh, it, prices could go even further up. But if you look at the market, you can definitely see that whenever commercials were so extreme, uh, prices did decline. So I, I think this could be considered one of the best opportunities these days. Actually, that's going to be the last market that we had a look at. Uh, if you would like to see more markets, you can do so by checking out our COT charts page. That's for free. Uh, but if you would like to have a more detailed analysis, uh, just you know, to have a look at the new COT report types, other data types, uh, and so on and so on, just have a look at the subscription service at cotbase.com. So uh, thanks very much for being with me this week. Have a great weekend, and I hope to see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.